Hey guys, it's Fair Shockin, and today I would like to talk about this free software that I found that is more powerful than iMovie. iMovie is a super user-friendly app and is widely regarded to be one of the best timeline editors out there. With each update, the software gets more and more powerful. Now including a library of free sound effects and you can use. It seems like iMovie is all you need. However, if you have used iMovie for as long as I have, you will notice that there are certain aspects that you can't do in iMovie. Sometimes you will need to use an external software such as Keynote just to place text in a certain spot. And don't forget, you are only allowed two clips to be on top of each other at the same time. This can be bypassed by exporting the project and putting the exported project under it with a new clip on top. But who wants to go through the hassle just to export multiple clips and then redo everything just because they messed up the first clip? Now I won't keep you waiting. It's DaVinci Resolve. The free version of DaVinci Resolve has so many more features than iMovie has, including masking, color correction, timeline editing, and visual effects. The visual effects section includes so many effects that I haven't even played with them all. You can customize all of the effects to be perfect for your scenario. Like, look at this cool one. They also include an entire title section, which is 100% customizable. You can change the font, size, color, and placement to make it your own title. The masking feature also allows you to create special effects seen in horror movies and action movies. They also allow you to create your own customized transitions. Oh yeah, and you can have as many clips as you want on top of each other. You might be wondering, why isn't everyone using DaVinci Resolve then? Well, there are a couple of reasons. One of them is that many people do not know it exists. And better yet, they don't know it's free. The free version of DaVinci Resolve is super powerful. The features that dragged me into DaVinci Resolve were visual effects, the ability to customize the placement of everything, including titles, and the ability to mask items to create special effects. The second reason people don't use DaVinci Resolve is that it has a massive learning curve. I'll be teaching all of it on this channel. The third reason people don't use this software is that it's a massive battery sink. If I was doing heavy editing on my MacBook Pro M2, I would probably only get five hours max on a full charge. Keep in mind this computer is rated for 20 hours of battery life. Now that you know the pros and cons of DaVinci Resolve, are you staying with iMovie or are you moving to DaVinci Resolve? But that's all for today, folks. See ya!